Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. This is simply a repost of my poem, Places of Learning. Uh, I wanted to have it accessible on Mr. Cropper, as well as Cropper B channel, and I messed up one of the lines reading it for the Cropper B post, and I never did go back and fix that. So here we have a one and a half minute version of Places of Learning, the poem on why I dropped out of college. Colleges and universities are places of learning. In it four years now, a degree I am earning or that at least is the plan that is offered when through many courses I have duly suffered. In classes taught by wise professors, I'll grow a beautiful plume of feathers, and yet I perceive my feathers are plucked, and from the nest I'll soon be shook. For things beamed at me by erudite teachers require one's faith and are more fit for preachers. They say my reality is made by perception, built by my mind, the perfect deception. They tell me the world is all an illusion, and I wonder how they escape the confusion. In quantum mechanics, this thought is treasured. A thing isn't real until it's been measured. But if this is so, which measurements show it? If something's unreal, how could anyone know it? Einstein said that subatomic cause and effect not understood now may be someday yet. They speak of the poor downtrodden have-nots, and say government health care is spotty in spots. Western doctors don't know the real human needs, alternative medicine they prefer, indeed. Evolution, they say, hasn't answered all questions. Intelligent design is the offered succession. E. E. Cummings, they offer, as new poetry, but it has no rhyme or rhythm or beat. They give us James Joyce, who penned Ulysses, and tell us this nonsense is full of deep mysteries. The mystery is right, but they haven't a hint. The question is, how did this crap get to print? As painterly genius they offer as Pollock, who drunk smears his canvas in meaningless frolic. Picasso they label revolutionary, but his paintings were gasps of the fodder canary. As reason is smothered, what are we hearing? My God, can it be that people are cheering? And these are the learned men of the time, the feast of unreason, on nonsense they die. God help us all to escape a dark ages. In every field we need newborn sages. As an atheist, I know, to not kneel and pray. A rebirth of reason must bring back the day. And so, my professors, I bid you adieu. I'll drop out of college and start my own school.